Hey everybody, welcome back to When Harry Met Board Games, where we feed our people with relatable content and our victory condition is your satisfaction. I'm Harry, and before we go any further, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button somewhere on the lower right hand side of your screen. That way we can move on with our lives and enjoy the rest of this video. Today we'll be having another unboxing. I'll be unboxing this game right here, 1960, The Making of the President. It's a game designed by Jason Matthews and Christian Leonard and published by GMT Games. It's based on the real life historical <clears throat> president race uh, or presidential election between the candidates here, John F. Kennedy and Richard Nixon. So this is a very interesting game. I happen to like history and, you know, whenever historical themes are implemented in board games. Well, albeit abstractly, I appreciate it. And even more so when the historical details are emphasized a little bit more as it appears to be the case in this game. Here in the back, it says, uh, let's see. It says that... Uh, it's recommended age is 14 and older. This is a two-player only game. Here's a description of all the content. Uh, I don't see the length here. Don't see it here. Uh, da, 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 da. <clears throat> it talks about game scale. I guess each week represents, each turn represents a week. Oh, here we have complexity at least. This is a medium. It's rated a four from a range of one through nine. Solitaire suitability, suitability is only a one, so this game cannot be played solitaire. Uh, okay, I don't see where the game length is, but it says here in the back, all elections are turning points, but the presidential election of 1960 holds a special place in American history. All right, I'm sure it does. <laughs> so let's uh, take off the shrink wrap here and uh, see what's inside. Come on. Oh, this is tough. There we go. Got it. All right. Here we go. So GMT is not necessarily <clears throat> known for their component quality. So I'm curious to see what's inside. We got the nice rule book here, which is actually paper material, which is typical of GMT rule books. Other games that I own of theirs also have these regular paper rule books and uh the rule books seem to have pretty nice uh illustrations of the cards on them and it seems to be very thorough and detailed we're talking about 20 20 pages for the rule book okay then we have this right here this little board here first place issue second place issue and third place issue with regards to debates i guess there'll be debates that will go on here and then we have a couple sheets here of tokens we have these big tokens here with uh the presidents on opposite sides we have nixon and we have kennedy right there and there they seem to be decent quality we have different tokens representing the different states here we have arkansas and we have alabama and we have georgia and South Carolina and North Carolina and it seems that there's tokens for each of the 50 states we also have some tokens here representing civil rights and defense the economy some of the major I guess uh, issues that are being addressed during a campaign we have these endorsement tokens which are basically newspapers and they're double-sided again, red and blue, corresponding to John F. Kennedy and, and uh, Richard Nixon. And I guess this is when the, the media supports your campaign in a positive way, I guess. <clears throat> and that's pretty much it as far as the tokens. We do have some numbers here on the back of the different uh, states. Not sure what that refers to. And then we have the board here. All right, and this is a huge board, it appears to be. And we have it inside this little Ziploc bag here, or this big Ziploc bag, I should say. All righty. And this is a ginormous board, humongous. All right, and it's basically the map of the United States <clears throat> broken down into the 50 states. 
And these are all the different places that you will be campaigning and vying for uh, influence in order to uh, gain the votes or win the votes in these places. So looks very interesting. There's some numbers here. I'm guessing that's um, referring to the electoral uh, college and the electoral votes that each state has. California here is with 32. New York here has 45. I'm guessing that this would be <clears throat> accurate to the time, to the 1960, the year 1960. Okay, board looks good, pretty decent quality, I can't complain. And then we have a bunch of cubes here, blue and red, I guess, uh, indicative of two candidates, Republican and Democratic parties. And I'm guessing that the cubes are used as some sort of indicator of influence right in the different areas in the different states that the uh, two players will be campaigning over so nice solid chunky you know decent sized cubes right here all right and then we have a bunch of cards and this is a big aspect of the game it's the card play of the game and i guess <clears throat> the cards correspond to different uh, historical strategies that might have been implemented or events. Here we have Greater Houston Ministerial Association and we have Nixon's knee right here. Interesting. And we have the Gallup poll right here and Citizens for Nixon Lodge right there. Volunteers. New England. Late returns from Cook County. Soviet economic growth. Baptist ministers. Swing state. Sputnik the fifth. Southern strategy. Nikita Khrushchev. Gathering momentum in the south. We have a gathering momentum in the east a gathering momentum in the Midwest, and a gathering momentum in the West. We have Dwight D. Eisenhower, Old South, Nixon egged in Michigan, 50 Stars, Gaffey, Martin Luther King arrested. So again, a lot of these are referring to different historical events that were, I guess, taking place during the time around the time um the car quality here is actually pretty good i would say it's among the better gmt cards i mean gmt cards are always thick they're just um a little plain looking uh but i i, I find that this is fine the graphic design is it, it's appropriate to the to the subject matter right you just have real uh photos or representations of real photos here and you have a bunch of more other cards here. Let's see the... We have some um, Ziploc baggies. GMT is always very kind and generous with a bunch of extra Ziploc baggies. We have this nice little bag here, which I'm guessing might be used for these cubes. I don't know. Maybe those cubes might be drawn at random after all. And then the insert is uh, nice and functional. There's nothing underneath there. And it has a little bit more artwork based on the cover or box cover of this game and that's pretty much it this is all we have here in this game i'm looking forward to playing this game uh and seeing what it has to offer all right well thank you so much for joining us here at when harry met board games uh please comment down below let me know what you guys think have you played this game what's your opinions as to this kind of game or do you like historical games at all also don't forget to subscribe and uh that's it this is harry from when harry met board games saying take care everybody have a great day and have fun gaming. Bye-bye.